Hello and welcome to this new lecture. We will now define the mixing process. And we will also talk about the differences between the in-the-box mixing and the analog mixing, and the differences between the mixing and mastering processes. So let's start by defining the mixing process. The art and science of mixing is the process to find a balance, gluing instruments and correct issues in your recordings. In fact, mixing is all about carving out sonic space by removing clashing or masking frequencies or taming or enhancing dynamics where needed. As stated by Wikipedia, audio mixing is the process by which multiple sounds are combined into one or more channels. And the result of this combination depends on how the recordings have been mixed. During this course we will see and practice several mixing techniques used to transform recordings into great mixes. I would add, the best mix starts with the best recording. If you capture the best sound to begin with, or carefully select the best sounding sample, you've already done half of the job. Let's now define the difference between mixing and mastering with this example. Mixing is like washing your car. Mastering is like polishing it. In reality, the mastering process will produce an audio file able to, let's now learn a new term, translate well in every sound system, speaker or ear body. Mastering is the art of compromise and require a great experience, a proper listening environment, high-end converters and really expensive analog gears, plus usually very expensive audio monitors and amplification. That's the reason why in this course we will not talk about mastering, because even if you can achieve a good result with your current studio setup, great masterings are made by great engineers in great sounding studios, and that's all. <laughs> a great mastering engineer once said, a good mixing does not need mastering. In this case, mastering is just the final mix check before the distribution process, so bear this in mind. Mastering corrections are usually very light. For example, if we are speaking of an EQ correction of 2 dB, well, in the mastering domain it could be a lot, probably showing a problem belonging to the mixing process. On the other hand, talking about a 4 dB correction in the mixing process is fine. The mastering process also uses great analog gears with a wide variety of technology involved, like tubes or discrete outboards. Have you ever heard that analog sound is warmer, deeper and three-dimensional than the digital one? Have you ever asked yourself why? Let's now move on to the next lecture, where we will understand the differences between the analog and digital domains.